Tivo. Whoa, it's Tivo time. Tim Tivo's back in mud, back in Madden, and we scooped this man up and we're ready to put him on the field. I mean, why not? Let's just get Tim Tivo. I said if this dude got a card in mud. I would play with him, and I did not tell a lie. Day one is 97 overall NFL movers. 24-hour edition car comes out, and we scoop him up. We also got a few new acquisitions, like Golden Ticket Khalil Mack off the edge. I've had that one for a little bit. This is actually going to be my first game playing with the Mack, so we'll see how he does. And first play of offense for this man, and it's a fumble, and it's a fumble recovery by Richard Sherman. Awkward looking play. What happened there was, that was a backward pass as Tebow comes into the game, and since Thomas Davis swatted it, it counted as a fumble. A second down, we're looking to get Tebow's first touchdown pass but Megatron free our golden ticket Megatron drops the pass so third down he's still coming out in that cover too we're throwing up a fade this time to another new acquisition there Brandon Marshall as we take away the screen and Khalil Mack screaming off the edge with that 97 speed but once again second down he hits the uh, hitcher out there to Mike Evans and then third down he's gonna hit us with some PA end the round once again hitting Mike Evans and Mike Evans is beasting all over the defense and he's off to the races Mike Evans where did that come from taking all the way to the 25 yard line until Ronnie Lott tracked them down there and this dude's offense was a lot of quick passes a lot of hitch routes a lot of you know quick hitters like this to the outside to I believe Jimmy Graham getting the ball to the 10 yard line and then a quick fade to Mike Evans and he scores a touchdown just like that in a blink of an eye so he's proven that that first play was a fluke and he's here to play so now we're going to have to step it up on defense, but first, let's bring the man, Tim Tebow, on offense, trying to run the read option, but it gets swallowed up. This dude had some good run defense, so it was hard to get loose with Tebow, and then we try to throw the pass. We look like Tim Tebow throwing bad passes, third down and 14, looking to go deep to Calvin, but we get swallowed up by Aaron Donald. I just I was about to release it, Aaron Donald came off the edge, and all of a sudden, this guy's got the momentum of this game, and I'm getting frustrated by these quick passes. I'm going to have to start playing these myself with Sherman, and Richard Sherman snags the pick right there, Break the tackle from Mike Evans and Richard Sherman off to the races touchdown the lead is ours again great play there taking that pass away and then um you know Sherman just did the rest is second down or a um, new set of downs here after he runs PA in the round again I messed up and left to do wide open second down and 15 we're starting to take away his reads we're starting to get his <laughs> Third down and 15. Khalil Mack off the edge. Tom Brady breaks the sack, throws it deep to Megatron, and Megatron over free safety. Megatron gets the catch there. I don't know what else to do in that situation. We should have had the sack. We should have had the you know pick with Megatron. But nonetheless, all of a sudden here we are in the red zone, trying to play some red zone D. But he's able to find the tight end. He just ran four verse. I think he was trying to hit some um streak routes or some fade routes, but we manned some dudes up and threw him off. But he was able to get the touchdown anyways and tie the game back up. So now we're in a shootout here with Tim Tebow. Not exactly the look I wanted, but we're going deep to Calvin, who's got a step on his man, but Tebow overthrows it. I don't know if I messed up with Calvin. I might have, but... Oh, that was a heartbreaker. We That was a touchdown. It's Tim Tebow rolling out. Now starting, we're starting to get loose with Tebow. We're starting to roll out a little bit. And that is not good for my opponent. Because we're starting to get loose with Tebow. This man has running back attributes. So he can take off out the pocket. And he can take some hits. As we tried to throw a hitch right there. But that should have been a pick. Once again, Tebow now looking sharp. But third down, we run the ball both. Tebow needs a little bit of a break. So Bo Jackson's going to take over. Fourth down and one. We run hard up and run the same exact play. He's only got three down linemen. So I'm running straight up the middle with Bo. And we got a pretty good offensive line that I trust again. Off first down that situation is once again we're hitting Bo Jackson in the screen pass but um looked like I had some potential but he was able to blow it up a second down he's trying to send a lot of blitzes and when people try to blitz I'm gonna go like people usually don't cover the flats so I'm gonna go to the flats and make you play it and there uh, I thought we had a pretty decent play um Bruce Miller if he picks up the block we might get the first down but maybe it was a little bit too conservative we end up kicking the field goal in that situation and we regained the lead it's a three-point lead it's a back and forth game Reggie White somehow coming screaming and getting that sacking out second down and 16 he's going back like I said this is his offense even with 40 seconds left before half this is still his offense. So third down, we're going to make sure we manually cover that. And he's not going to test us again. Instead, he's going the other side to Patrick Peterson. And Patrick Peterson gets the pick, and he's off to the races. This may only be, like, the third best Patrick Peterson in month 15, but um, he's still pretty damn good. Patrick Peterson in month in general is pretty damn good. As he's going deep over Peterson, but he is getting denied again. Patrick Peterson back-to-back -back picks, hitting the juke here. A second juke, a spin move by Peterson, and returning it to the 
47 yard line that great return somehow bs and that is gonna put us in position to get some points before half you see vernon davis with that 97 speed getting to the 45 yard line once again we're going to the flats to vernon hitting the brakes forcing that man out of bounds and vernon davis and tim tebow combined to put us in field goal range and greg the leg knocks it through and that was a big sequence before half it was third down it was a three-point game and um Blink of an eye with three point game is now a 13 point game. As once again, we're going to the flats, but he's able to close quick closing speed and we only get a gain of one. So we're trying to run the ball a little bit, but like I said, it's still had some really good run defense, so it's hard to do that. So it's up to T Bow on third down to make this throw. We're throwing it up the seams. Vernon Davis and Vernon, not known for his great catch and traffic, is able to make that catch anyways for T Bow and the boys. As we're rolling out with T Bow first down, we're not afraid to slide down. This man's got good trucking, good elusiveness, so I'm going to take some hits. Second down, though, um, I was trying to get this run game, not doing much. Running hard up here on third down, and we throw it immediately to the flats to Jeremy Hill there. That was not good by me because I wanted to throw um, the out route to uh, OBJ, but uh, just immediate pressure off the edge, and I had to throw it quick. So uh, we just end up, you know, punting the ball there. Is oh, I thought I was there with Sherman, but just a perfect pass by Tom Brady, and a one-handed catch by the receiver as we strip the ball out of Calvin's hands on first down, second down, and ten. He's trying to go in the. This slant rap, but you can't go at Sherman. You can't. You can't. I mean, we already proved it once, and I thought we were in his head, but he tried to make the throw anyways. He tried to get us in a second time, and that should have been a pick again. Tim Tebow was making some awful ass reads. I don't know how we haven't thrown a pick yet. Well, Tim Tebow, I say me, but with Tebow, we're making some bad reads. Now, sudden it's third down and 15 because of these bad plays. Tebow taking off, and I want to. I want to just truck some people, but um. Now, these are offensive, or these are linebackers, man. These are really good linebackers. I'm not trying to fumble the ball. I'm willing to take the field goal there, but at the same time, that's our third field goal of the game. We got to start scoring touchdowns because, you know, because we keep getting field goals, it's still a two possession game, and it's men at 15. Lob streaks are OP. So, you're never out the game. You can just throw it up to a Mike Evans, and there he finds a hole in the zone to Jimmy Graham. And just like that, Blink of an Eye, he's at the 28 yard line. He's, you know, attacking, finding Mike Evans. I would have been there if I didn't fall down, but I fell down by, with Sherman by accident. Now, Sons, first down and goal at the 10 yard line as Jimmy Graham. Thankfully, we force a drop pass there. Now, it's second down and goal. We got to watch those spec catches. And he tries to hit a curl to, I believe, Julio. But Patrick Peterson, one more time for Patrick Peterson, who's showing up big time in this game as Tebow rolling now. I was late on the read there, but still, Tebow just threw that thing, rocketed out of bounds, man. Tebow has a 97 overall card, but his inaccuracy can definitely be um, shown in a lot of places. Third down and seven. We need to get this first down here to kill more clock. Trying to roll out with Tebow, but this offense, or this defensive line, I believe me and Joe, has some jets. I was like, who is this guy chalking down Tim Tebow? I was looking to, you know, get some rollout cheese going, and instead, now saying, you know, we punt the ball away, and the game is not over yet, but he did use a timeout, which is pretty key to know. Um, I don't know why he did. I wouldn't use a timeout in that situation because now if he gets a touchdown, he probably has to onside it. But um, he's moving the ball downfield. And then this man in 15, anything can happen. It's Cleo Matt coming off the edge. He throws it deep. And Calvin is not able to get the pick. We got to catch one of these. And we got to end this game with the defense. Second down, he's trying to hit that hitch route. But we got all sorts of covered up. I'm not letting those things get completed. Third down, he's going to have to throw lobster if he wants to win this game, man. That's the way it's going to be. As he tried to throw one there, but it's broken up in double coverage. Now fourth down, nine game, playing, game pretty much on the line. And he changes it up a little bit. Throws a little cur uh, curl to Mike Evans there. So that's a good play by him. Keeping the the game alive one more time but oh my god Khalil Mack is a mismatch that's not fair especially against poor Tom Brady rolling out there not fair as like I said we're all over the field with Sherman forcing the strip somehow third down 25 he's just lobbing it up to Calvin and Charles Woodson's there on the pick like I said a third down 25 is not much to do in that situation except for try throwing up a lot especially with goddamn Khalil Mack coming in your face so yeah, we get the pick. Should ice the game, but I, I try to run PAN around with Tim Tebow, not gonna lie. I try to get loose there a little bit. Second down, blitz coming off the edge. We throw it deep and we throw a pick. I mean, Tebow's a left-hander, so maybe I should have ran the PAN around the other way, but um, we end up throwing the pick here, keeping him alive. I don't really care at this point. I'm trying to have fun with Tebow, but um, it's mad at 15, and when you can get catches like that with Amari Cooper... Game's not over yet. We can't, you know, he's not waving the white flag. He's still out here trying to fight, even though he has no timeouts. Trying to throw a spec catch there, but Brady throws it over the head of the receiver. Second down, he tries to hit a little route there, but we got triple coverage on that one. Now it's third down and goal. Once again, incomplete. And now fourth down and goal. Our goal line defense is sharp today, and we man up a man of Mike Evans. I was making sure Evans was mic'd up. I was not letting him be the guy. And Richard Sherman, give that man the game ball. Fumble recovery and now three picks, even when I'm not using him. He's having a great game. Tebow, iffy game, iffy game. We threw two picks at the end that kind of ruined his stat line, but 
And I mean, we did, we, the defense did what they had to do to win the game. And that's what Tebow time's all about, man. Tebow played like dog shit in Denver, but the defense will keep him in the game. And then all, and Matt Prater will keep him in the game. And then all of a sudden, fourth quarter, you know, Tebow time and Tim Tebow will win games. That's all he does, man. Tebow just wins and he wins today. So leave a like in this video if you enjoyed this Tebow gameplay. Um, leave a like if you guys want to see more Tebow stuff. If you guys leave enough likes, I'll drop another Tebow game tomorrow. And subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And I'll catch you guys next time.